On the ninth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me the birth lights. Right now, there's a lot of stuff in our V-Birth. This will eventually be our major sleeping quarters, but for right now, we're using it as storage. It's the colder part of the boat, and so it makes more sense for us to occupy the area in the main cabin, and that's where we're sleeping. But eventually, this V-Birth, V-shaped bed in the front of the boat, which is a king-size bed at its widest point, will be where Galen and I sleep all the time. But right now, my keyboard is stored in here, a bunch of wood that we're using for some construction uh, on the side panels. I've got some computer equipment, extra stuff in here. There's a guitar thrown in on top, some of our clothes. Um, and a lot of it is stuff that we use on a regular basis, like that sleeping bag right there. I pull that out and use that every night. That backpack that's right there, I use that whenever I go to take a shower. So the stuff that we use most commonly, my sewing kit, some things like that are right up near the front. But then, you know, as you keep going, there's all sorts of storage back there. We've got, you can't even see, but we've got solar panels star stored back there, a bunch of extra foam. Uh, there's a, <laughs> the orange thing you see there is a sea anchor. So the first thing that we've got to do is pull all of this out of the V-Birth, or the majority of it anyway, so that we can do the next step. We need lighting in the V-Birth, uh, because at night there's really nothing in here. We've been relying on our Lucy lights to, uh, to light it up and it really doesn't, I mean, Lucy lights are great, but they're not for lighting some, something like this. So um, we are going to install lights. I have a fuse block already dedicated for this and I'll show you that in a second. Um, we are going to install right now, we have some other lights, but we're installing these uh, LED strips uh, courtesy of, of Bob, Bob Potts, who uh, said he wanted to light up our bedroom. Um, so uh, that's what we're doing today. I already have a switch installed right here. Perfectly good switch um, that's hooked up to that fuse block. Um, and this is where that wire comes out. Um, this has a switch on it, uh, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and see I already put um, butt end terminals on on these. I'm just going to uh, plug this into this wire and mount mount it up here um, so we can use it as a switch but also the re you can see the remote um, sensor is going to be exposed too so we can have a remote the remote control on the other side um, so we can hit it from either side or we can use that switch like I said this is kind of a we're not really relying this on this for a permanent setup so I got two uh, two reels of LED lights and what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have the the uh, the switch here and I think the first uh, one of them it's like one's going to take the high road the other one's going to take the low road we're going up here around to illuminate uh, this like standing area in the V-berth and the other reel is going underneath against the new vinyl on the outside and around to light up the uh, business side of the V-Birth. He pushed decided that he wanted to help. He wants but to be a gargoyle. He wants to be... <laughs> That's a long jump, Puss. Yeah, for a big fat Puss. <laughs> Alright, taking this trim down so I can feed that wire underneath it. Uh, or not. All right, so there's a bung still up in here. Oh, I can't see anything. There we go. So I'm going to uh, drill that bung out. Should be able to. Aha! Take that trim piece down. Now I can. Now let's just do it. Now I can put the wire hide it up in behind here, have it come out the side here, 
then I'll attach it to these and tuck them back in there to hide them. Makes it funner when the boat is moving, working with sharp objects next to my fingers. It was supposed to be an alcohol prep pad with so much alcohol on it, but it'll clean. It'll clean anyway. So just cleaning off a space where I'm going to stick that. And so I kind of pulled it out a little bit. Oh, fuck hot. I kind of pulled it out a little bit. Now I'm going to hide it back in. Hide it back in here. So those connectors, what the hell? Those connectors don't get shown. And I'll probably just stick that right, just like that. And uh, yeah, let me put this trim up back up first. Trim's up, wires connected, has plenty of room. Um, I'm going to take off this 3M strip. I'm not, I don't really have any confidence that any of this. 3M stuff is good and it'll, it'll stick, but you have to really use the high grade adhesive stuff that they make. And this is just, we can put it up temporarily though. And that'll be, that'll be good enough. I think if we had the lights up over here, it's going to be easier for you to see inside the locker. Yeah, but they're going to be along here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess I could bring them up and have them go over here. Have them come down, but they're just kind of... LEDs are really directional, so it'll... Yeah, it'll come down like here. I guess that wouldn't be that. But if they were here, they would come out and that, that's, wash both directions. I think that's okay because if they're up, and I'm pointing on camera, if they're up higher here, it's going to help illuminate this side. And if they're up high on the same side, on the other side, it's going to help. Well, like I said, LEDs are very side. directional. So you're not, you're going to get a very thin. So I guess, yeah, I guess it would come out a little bit, but you're not going to get like a flooded thing. No, anything. I get it. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe these LEDs are different. All right, I'm going to haul these back here. This strip is going to start under here and then come up around. So that's what we're doing, final answer. But then I'm going to have to snake it under here because I already stuck this damn thing on. So. All right, so I think I'm going to bring this around the back side of this trim and let the trim kind of hold it up. For the corner because that's really where these things kind of fall down a lot is when you make transition to them. Yeah, I think that's a good decision. Are you comfortable with that? Yep. Comfortable with that 
speed now. this to transition this way. Here's so gonna be a pretty one. Yeah, I try to follow along the trim as best you can. Just because that'll make it look more even, even yeah. though it might not be. <laughs> All of my uh, AC breakers are mounted on the back side of this pan. We've got crap here, but so you pull this out and breakers are on the back side. So I'm looking for the one that says V birth. That's this one. And we're going to turn it on. It didn't trip off, so it's a start. Now I'm going to put this fuse. Um, I don't have a smaller one, all I got is a 10 right now. But um, I will put a smaller one in. Uh, but to test it, I'm going to put this fuse in the fuse block, and I'll show you where that lives. Okay, I just put that light in. There we go. That's a fuse block. This is where that goes and apparently that switch is already turned on because we've got a light show going on in the bedroom now which is kind of hot I it's like it awesome. so yeah so we have lights in the bedroom now and we just have to put this shouldn't leave this on too really not supposed to leave these on when these are uh, rolled up but I'm going to take that and stick it all under there, but um, the big part's done, and let's see if the remote works. Oh, Allison's messing with the remote. So, it's pretty cool. It's a light show in the bedroom. Yeah, I wish it was darker. We'll show it when it gets darker tonight. So now, instead of walking into a dark V-birth, we have lights and we don't just have any lights we can change the color of the lights we can put it on a thing so it goes back and forth through different colors in different patterns so all of a sudden this room that we didn't have hardly you know any light in we're using just a little lucy light to be able to see now we have a light show. Or we could just put it on something soft and nice and it just be what it is. So thank you so much Bob Potts for sharing your awesome lights with us so that we now have plenty of uh, visibility in our V-Birth and really great mood lighting. We hope that you will like and follow our Facebook and Instagram pages through the links below in the description. And also, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel right here so that the next time we put out a video, you'll be notified. Thanks for watching.